All right, guys, it is April 29th, and it may be gorgeous outside, but today we are officially halfway to Halloween. That is right, my friends. Halfway to Halloween. I am so excited to get to the Halloween season. We're not even through summer yet. We're not even to summer yet. But if you're anything like me, you are so ready to see the leaves flying and the spookiness blooming. The spookiness bloom. <laughs> I think spookiness rises from the grave. Anyways, guys, so it is Saturday night, and tonight I am leaving it up to you to what movie you want to watch for halfway to Halloween. I want you to watch whatever movie makes you feel the most Halloweeniest you ever can feel. Now for me, there are three movies I always watch first before anything else when Halloween comes around. The first one is It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. So I am definitely going to be watching that one tonight. The second is Disney's Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Now this can be found on the Blu-ray or DVD called The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I think I've only ever seen it once offered on its own and that was back on VHS. So if you want to watch Disney's Legend of Sleepy Hollow, you gotta get it along with Mr. Toad. And of of course, my third and final choice is 1978, John Carpenter's Halloween. You can't go wrong with John Carpenter's Halloween. Unless you're a kid, then you're going to be really, really scared of the boogie van. And if that's the case, I have a couple of suggestions for you guys. Three movies that make me feel like it is Halloween no matter what time of year. It could be Christmas morning. And if I watch this movie, it feels like Halloween. And the first one I do not have on DVD because it's not available on DVD or Blu-ray, and that would be Hubie Halloween. I absolutely love Hubie Halloween. It is hilarious. It's another Adam Sandler movie, but everything about that movie screams Halloween. Now, the second one, of course, is going to be Hocus Pocus. You gotta love Hocus Pocus. And the third one that I would suggest that makes me feel so Halloween-y because they do such a good job presenting it as a Halloween movie is Goosebumps Part 2. From the get-go, it feels like Halloween is. Now, there are plenty more movies you could choose to make you feel Halloween-y for Halfway to Halloween, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what movie you are choosing to watch for Halfway to Halloween. But we're not done. We cannot have an awesome Halfway to Halloween movie night in a room like this. So in just a minute, I'm taking you guys with me out to the $1.25 tree, and we're going to get as much stuff as we possibly can to decorate the house as if we are having an awesome Halloween party slash Halfway to Halloween movie night. But before we do... Who's ready to- oh! Alright guys, as usual, we're going to start at the Dollar Tree and get this stuff as cheap as we possibly can. Whatever we can't find here, we will go somewhere else. Basically, we need to find things that we can repurpose for Halloween because there's obviously not going to be any Halloween stuff in here in April. For instance, we want a black cat, but we might have to settle for a black pig. <laughs> okay, here's graduation stuff down here. I see a lot of stuff that is black. Um... I don't see any orangey stuff, though, except for maybe these. Are these orange, or are they maybe gold? I mean, you could use them if you needed to. Okay, look at these hiding back here. Party poppers. Now, these are supposed to be for graduation, but these would work perfect for 
happy halfway to Halloween. Wait, looky what we have here. We actually have a black cat. Now, I'm not going to get that, but if you wanted a black cat, there's a black cat. All right, here we go. All these different colored party supplies here, and among them, we have orange. So we have bigger plates and smaller plates. Let's go ahead and get some bigger plates, and let's get the orange party napkins, too. I don't see any orange party cups, but we could get black. Do they have purple? They have blue. Let's get black. Yep, that'll work. That'll go right along with our orange. So they have balloons and confetti here. I don't see anything orange, though. I mean, this time of year, it's probably going to be difficult to find anything orange. We got black balloons there, garlands and things. I mean, you'd have to really get creative for how you're going to use stuff like this. But here is streamers. So we have black streamers here. Again, I don't see any orange, but I mean, really purple and green. You could use yellow. You could use the black. You know what? Purple's a Halloween-y color. Let's go ahead and get some of that and we'll get some orange from another place. All right, here's glow sticks. We have purple, orange, and green, the smaller ones, and then here's long ones that you make necklaces out of, and these are orange. I don't think I want any of those, but I'm just saying, I mean, it's something orange, so it would add to your Halloween party, your halfway to Halloween party. Look at this, guys. The Dollar Tree comes through always. We even have costumes a big bird mask right here <laughs> you know what let's get a couple pieces of poster board because i recall on the great pumpkin charlie brown they were like pumpkin cutouts hanging from the ceiling and there was like witches and black cats too so let's get some black as well okay so here's little led tea light candles we'll need some of these because i have some of those foam pumpkins the ones that i carved myself you know what actually i already have some of these at home that we have for emergencies if the lights go out i think i'm just gonna go ahead and put these in those pumpkins we need some string to hang things from the ceiling. Okay, it is a movie night, but we don't want the boxed candy for tonight. We want stuff that would be like trick-or-treat style candy. So let's just grab a couple of these and we can put them in a bowl. Let's do some Milky Ways. How about Snickers? Definitely Three Musketeers. <laughs> and let's get some mounds. I definitely have enough, but let's go ahead and get the Twix as well. Now here's little donuts here, and they have zingers. There's some cupcakes. You could get stuff like that if you want to. I actually have some donuts at home already, and I'm really hoping I can find some apple cider at Giant Eagle or something. If you had to, though, I do see that they have Donald Duck apple juice, so that would suffice. So we've got all these containers here. We need something to put our uh, candy on like this. This is a little bit bigger than what I would like, but it'll work. And I think we'll go ahead and get a two-pack of these cardboard popcorn containers so we can put some popcorn on the table, too. You know, I keep thinking about the whole apple cider thing, and I bet apple cider this time of year is going to be super expensive. So I was over here in a drink aisle looking, and look what I found. Holy crap, it's apple cider. <laughs> Actually, it's sparkling apple cider. I don't know how good that would taste, but we're going to get a bottle of it. Actually, we'll get two of those. But if you wanted to make like a, uh, a Halloween punch, you could come right down here, get a bottle of Fago Orange, and right below it, oh, here we go, Fago Twist. Mix the two of those together in a punch bowl, and it would be delicious. And I already have some orange soda and cream soda at home, so I think I will mix those up and make my own punch. Shut up, cart. You could also get these little hugs. Look at this. There's six of these for $1.25 at the $1.25 store. And you could get googly eyes and stick them on there and draw like a mouth and make them like little monsters. You know what? I think this is a little better size for our candy dish. Ooh, and I actually have a, uh, a skull-shaped, not a bowl, but it's like almost a pitcher at home that I can put my punch in, my Halloween punch. And here is a handy dandy punch ladle for $1.25. Guys, we got like 99% of what we needed right there at the Dollar Tree. The only thing that I really want that we didn't get there is uh, orange streamers. 
So for our orange streamers and anything else we might want, we're gonna go over here to the party place on Whipple in Canton. So I know not everybody has a party place, but man, this is the most awesome place to come if you were getting ready to do a themed movie night. I wonder how tall that Wookiee is. But right in the back is what we're looking for, streamers. Look at this, they have a ginormous roll right here or they have a smaller roll right here. 99 cents for the smaller roll, 3.99 for the big one. The big one is 500 feet. I don't think we quite need that much. This one's 81 feet. I think we can do it with two of these. All right, I think we got everything. Wouldn't you agree, sir? Sir? Okay. All right, guys, we've got bags and bags of awesome Halloween decorations. And this room right here is going to be transformed within the next couple hours into an awesome halfway to Halloween party. That's right, a party. <laughs>
All right, guys, there it is. How cool is this? It is April, but we are having a Halloween party. We've got Legend of Sleepy Hollow on the TV. We've got pumpkins and spiders and skeletons and whatever you call this over here, inflatable skeleton coming out of the coffin. We've got jack-o'-lanterns over here and black cats. We've got a witch over here ripping her head off. Let me turn on the lights a minute so you can see everything much better and I'll explain everything to you. There we go, that is much better, but first let's back up into the hallway here where we have the Happy Halloween sign. And that actually was sent to me by a fan in one of my Fan Mail Friday videos. If you wanna go back and look through, I honestly cannot even tell you which one, but it's in one of them. So as we enter the living room here, we have none other than Sam waiting, waiting right here to greet us with his killer sucker. Now, I don't have him plugged in. He's just standing there as a prop right now. Totally awesome, though. We have this little jolly pumpkin right here flashing in which I bought today from the Goodwill. Look at this. For 50 cents. Happy Halloween, little buddy. We've got this ginormous skeleton head right here, which actually belongs to my 12-foot skeleton from Home Depot, which I have still not set up yet. We've got the horror blanket with ghost face. We've got Sam's bouncy head here. We have this guy right here, which is actually a light-up pumpkin that I got from Goodwill a couple weeks ago as well. I paid $2.11 for him. He still has the tag on. Here's some more of that Happy Halloween banner here. And we don't want to forget about the apple bobbing station here. Look at that juicy, red, delicious apples just waiting for us to sink our teeth in. And when you get them, we have caramel dip to dip the pieces in. Oh, so delicious. Before we even go any farther, let's just stand back here for a second and look at all these awesome streamers and the pumpkins, and we've got a skull over here, and we've got spiders, and there's a ghost on the wall over there. All this stuff adorning the ceiling. I wanted to put up a ton of streamers and these kind of pumpkins and stuff hanging from the ceiling because that's what it looks like at the Halloween party on It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Now, all of these I made myself out of the poster board that we got at the $1.25 tree for 50 cents a piece. It wasn't even a dollar 25, it was 50 cents a piece. We made the giant pumpkin, the giant cat. We made the moon with the bats on it and all these pumpkins and spiders and the skull that is up here hanging from the fan. And if you turn it around, I put the same face on both sides. Look at this, I love these spiders, they're so hilarious. And you'll notice that the pumpkins I did on both sides too and some of them I drew with a Sharpie marker just to kind of give it a different look. I was actually gonna make a whole bunch more and put them up on the wall here, as well as over here. But when I made this ghost and I tried to stick him on the wall, he wouldn't stick to the paint. So he is a lucky one that I have up there. But let's continue this tour. As we come over here, we see the witch inflatable who is ripping her head off. Why she's ripping her head off, I have no idea. Maybe she didn't have any dead man's toes to put in her stew. Right behind her, we have <laughs> more of the Happy Halloween border. I don't know if that's a border or what the heck you call it. But anyways, we have this jolly guy over here. Hello. And he is holding on to his treat bucket, which he has gone out trick-or-treating and filled up with candy or rocks if he's Charlie Brown. We have this inflatable skeleton over here, which is so awesome. I got him off of Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. He's six feet tall, and if you look, he's coming out of a coffin, and this side of the coffin says, welcome. That is an awesome inflatable. We've got another ghost face blanket over here on this couch, and then over here we have the treat table. Look at this, guys, holy crap. I cannot wait to dig into this. So, we have our giant bowl of Halloween candy. You cannot have a Halloween party without a giant bowl of Halloween candy. We have two bowls of popcorn, which is gonna be delicious. It smells so good right now. We have all these awesome donuts right here. And these are those bottles of cider that I grabbed for $1.25 
from the $1.25 tree. Now this skull I actually had bought at Party City for like seven bucks and it's got like a bowl inside so I thought how perfect is that to put ice and these little bottles in. This little tablecloth right here actually came from the same person who gave me the ha happy Halloween banner over there and this tablecloth I picked up at a Goodwill. I think it was 50 cents as well. If we follow our trail of black and orange napkins, we come over here where we have our orange plates that we got at the $1.25 tree. And then we have this awesome punch concoction over here in a skull bowl, which I got, I think at Walmart for a couple bucks. Of course, that was back around Halloween, but this is what's in this. I used sun-kissed orange and a and w cream soda and mixed it up in here i tasted it the other day to make sure it was going to be good and it is absolutely delicious so guys there is our spread for the movie night there is our awesome halfway to halloween decorated living room and we've got our stack of halloween movies up there by the tv so i am so ready to hallow party <laughs> oh i almost forgot one thing guys we do have these two party poppers and for that i'm gonna have to call for some help and here she is my help for the evening and the woman who makes all this possible <laughs> i have the best wife ever she allows me to decorate the house as halloween this took an entire day all day long i had to say go over here go over here sit over here stay over here and she took it like a champ i love you i love you okay so we have our poppers here i'm not sure how these work but we think we have figured them out Harry, halfway, halfway to halloween what the okay <laughs> all right let's try it again let's go the opposite way happy halfway to halloween <laughs> it sort of worked <laughs> Can you see the other way? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah! What the? It blew up and it didn't shoot the stuff out. It's a dud! It's a dud! <laughs> All right, there we go. It's a dud! There's our happy halfway to Halloween. Now I have to clean all this crap up. Wow. So, babe, when you get done sweeping this so room. So, babe, <laughs> when you get done, I'll be in the hot tub. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to go and enjoy this awesome spread back here. And I'm going to force this little lady here to watch some Halloween movies with me. And I hope you will do the same. Happy halfway to Halloween. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you give me a comment below. Make sure you subscribe and everything in between.